The adapter design pattern provides us with a solution for the following problem. Let's assume that we define an interface and we ask another developer to define a class that implements this interface. And let's assume that the other developer, instead of implementing the interface we defined, the interface uh, iBook, mistakenly or not, he implements iOtherBook, another interface that actually uh, includes more or less the same methods only with uh, different names. This is a problem because we expected that developer to uh, define a class that implements uh, iBook. The entire program we develop is based on the assumption that the, that class that the developer uh, develops implements iBook. We can solve this problem using the adapter design pattern. We just need to define a new class. We can call it any name, with any name we want. The new class should extend the class the other developer developed and implement the interface, the original interface we wanted the other developer to implement. This way, when we define our class, we shall implement each and every abstract method inherited from the iBook interface and implement those methods by delegating the call to the relevant method in the class that the other developer developed. This way we can actually work with objects instantiated from our new class as if we uh, uh, were using the other class, the other developer uh, developed. And doing so we can enjoy, we can benefit from the code the other developer um, coded in his class, the book class. Let's execute this code sample and see the output.